Hi, my name is Jake and I'm a technical consultant at Pragmatic. In this video today, we're going to show you how you can automatically send text messages to contacts in your Dynamics 365 environment using the Twilio connector with Power Automate. Twilio is a customer engagement platform that allows you to send media to your stakeholders via many different channels, including text message, email, and WhatsApp. This allows you and your business to get personal with your stakeholders by communicating with them via their preferred method. The first thing you're going to want to do is set up a new Twilio account. You can set up a new Twilio account directly at www.twilio.com and then selecting sign up and following the sign up process. Once signed up, head to the Twilio console at console.twilio.com and you should see a screen similar to this. If you haven't got one already, you will also need to buy a new phone number. You can do this by navigating to phone numbers, manage, and then buy a number in the left hand pane. Since we're going to be sending text messages, we need a number that has SMS functionality. You can do this by removing all filters at the top except for SMS and then selecting search. After finding a number that has SMS functionality, select buy and then buy to purchase your new number. Once you finish buying your new number, you're ready to set up your messaging service. Although it's not required, a messaging service allows you to set up a custom alphanumeric sender ID whenever you send a new message. This alphanumeric sender ID will be what appears at the top of the message on your recipient's phone, identifying that they are receiving a text from you or your business. However, please keep in mind that this ID can hold up to only 11 characters. To create your messaging service, navigate to messaging and then services on the left hand pane. Then select create messaging service. Give your messaging service a friendly name. In this case, we'll use CRM demo, and then select Create Messaging Service. You would need to add your recently bought phone number as a new sender by selecting Add Senders, making sure that it says phone number in the sender type, and then ticking your recently bought phone number and selecting Add Phone Numbers. Now move on to step three by selecting step three, set up integration. Move on to step four. If you're intending to send over 1 million messages a day or over 3000 messages to the US a day, you will need to upgrade your A2P limit. In this case, we're gonna finish by selecting complete. Then select view my new messaging service to get your messaging service SID. Copy this messaging service SID into a separate text file for easy use later. The final step before we send our automated message is to retrieve the account SID and auth token for our account. You can do this by selecting account and then API keys and tokens in the top right hand corner. You should then copy the account SID and the auth token which will be behind this sensitive information here and you can access this by selecting this eye. So now your Twilio account is all set up and you have the required IDs we are ready to create our Power Automate flow. On my screen I have a fairly simple Power Automate flow that triggers when a case is updated to resolved. It then gets the contact associated with the case and checks that they have a mobile phone number. If they do, we're going to send them a new text message. To do this, you, can, you should create a new send a text message action using the Twilio connector. Before being able to use this connector, however, we're going to need to find a new connection. The name parameter is purely there for reference, so use whatever text you'd like. In the Twilio account ID parameter, 
enter the account SID you copied from Twilio earlier. And then in the Twilio access token parameter, enter in the auth token you copied from Twilio earlier. Once you've entered these details in, select create and your connection will be set up and you'll be able to define the content of your new text message. In the from, you want to enter your new custom alphanumeric sender ID, given that you set up the messaging service, such as the name of your company or yourself. To do this, select enter custom value and then enter the, your alphanumeric sender ID. This can be any combination of numbers, letters, or white space. However, make sure that is no longer than 11 characters. Before we enter the recipient or the text message to them, it is important that we remember to enter the messaging service SID. In this parameter, enter the messaging service SID that you copied from Twilio earlier. Then, in the phone number, we're going to put the contact mobile number. And finally, the text. Press save, and your flow is done. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions or want to learn more, at Power Automate or Dynamics 365, contact us at sales at pragmatic.co.uk or call us on 01908 038 110 or check out our website at www.pragmatic.co.uk.